so yeah, so yeah, like the quote is in Batman Begins, um, theatricality and deception are powerful agents to the uninitiated. So that makes a lot of sense. What are the Masons all about? Theatricality and deception. You know, what is the League of Shadows from Batman Begins really? It's really just the Masons. Just another word for the Ma just the, It's the League of Shadows, you know, of Assassins. You know, like Assassin's Creed. So, yeah, it's just that they're all about deceiving other Masons and fellow crafts. And they're all about theatrics. So they have all these theatrical rituals and stuff. So yeah, theatricality and deception are powerful, powerful agents. And they use the theatrics and deception on their own members to deceive them. So they basically brainwash their own members. At the lower levels, they brainwash them. It's only at the higher degrees that they become unbrainwashed and and like completely enlightened about. Well, really, they're not really enlightened. They're like darkened. But they become more intelligent than the, the lower degrees because they start learning it. the true what, what they think is the true nature of reality. But it's really it's just they've really been completely led down the whole rabbit hole. Um, You know, Batman, he got out of the League of Shadows. So, basically, if you think about it, you know, Ra's al Ghul, who sounds like the devil, you know, Ghul, that sounds like devil. Ra's, like Ra, the sun god, you know, Al, that's like a Muslim terminology, like, like uh, the Saudis will have like Al or El in their name. It's, a, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a Saudi, a Muslim type name. But ghoul means like demon. Ra, you know, Ra sounds like Ra the sun god. But yeah, it was, you think about Batman Begins, is basically like he's, they're trying to initiate him into like Freemasonry or whatever. But really he, he realizes that they're all about evil and stuff and so he gets out. Really, that's how power works. Um, to maintain power, the, the pyramid scheme, you have to deceive the lower the lower levels to maintain the higher degrees, the higher levels of the pyramid. So it's really, it's all about deception and lies, really. Uh, you know, the thing about people like me is I'm not easily fooled or deceived. So, so I'm, I'm good at, you know, at good at basically figuring out things. Because I got, you know, I got like a, what's it called? A holistic mind where I can basically put things together and sit and connect the dots and stuff and I'm not power hungry like these these masons are so I don't really care too much about power um, you know I, I value knowledge and I value the truth is what I value you know um, Also, another thing you got to realize is that a lot of these Masons, 
I think what they're under is something similar to V2K voice to skull technology where they're basically being fed all this bull crap uh, from their cult all the time uh, so pretty much control them they're pretty much being I think they're being controlled with V2K uh, technology so that can explain why they're so controlled why they don't ever have any members that seem like they rebel against their own cult But yeah, it's all about deception. I mean, they're basically being brainwashed, too. They're also brainwashed. You know, even the military uses brainwashing to brainwash people. Don't you think the Masons and fraternities do the same thing? So, they're also, yeah, they're being mind controlled, pretty much. They're, they're being. Like mind controlled, I think, with the V2K. Uh, they're being pretty much uh, controlled and, and deceived. Um, So really, yeah, without, it, it's all about deception. Um, theatricality. The theatricality would be the rituals. You know, all the lore, you know, that, they, that they're brainwashed with and stuff. And then the deception would be with being withheld, the secrets, you know, and then having to go through the, the rituals, the, thea the, the theatrics to get to the higher degrees, you know, so the theatrics are used to deceive pretty much um, just like with being in karate you know you have to you start out as a white belt and then you work your way up and you get to a yellow belt and then to a black belt um, but not everyone gets to the black belt level but even within the black belt the black belt is still within the system so in a sense, even though you're not really free, even if you're a 33rd degree Mason, because you're still a Mason and still a part of the system. So you're not really free at all. You're not a free man. You're still a slave to the, to the, the, the system of degrees, to the system of hierarchy. You're still a slave to the hierarchy. So really, you've been deceived from the get-go. And you're not free. And you're not really free at all. So... You're not really becoming your own master when you're relying on, upon other people for support. So, um, you know, if you're relying, um, so who's the slave, you know? Like in the Hegelian dialectic, is the master really the slave? You know, because the master relies on the hierarchy in order to be the master. And the slave really is just only solely dependent on himself. So who's really the slave in the, uh, the master-slave dialectic? Because the master... Mason relies on the slaves and relies on the hierarchy in order to have power. So something has been given up in order to get to a certain position. So who is really free, you know?
I honestly just think they're really brainwashed. Extremely brainwashed. Like, because that's what cults do. They brainwash people. That's what they do in Scientology. They brainwash you. They're brainwashed. Brainwashing only works on the weak-minded, though. So I'm not... It can't work on me because I'm not weak-minded. Uh, yeah, they're brainwashed. Um, the Nazis brainwashed the SS. I'm sure they, they brainwashed each other. I'm sure Hitler himself was brainwashed within this system of the occult. Because he was a Rosicrucian. That's why I said he was so interested in going to Russia and overtaking Russia, because that's the land of the Rosicrucians. He wanted to regain the homeland of the Huns, the Tar or Tartarians. Aryan Aryans, really, the land of the Aryans. Of the Kurgans. Um, he was brainwashed. Um, pretty much brainwashed. Like I said, the Nazis were just a German version of the Freemasons. Um, like this, the, the freaking, um, the SS had the skulls and bones on their rings, just like the yellow skulls and bones do. Um, Heinrich Himmler, he just looked like Heinrich Himmler, the leader of the SS, he just looked like an invert, like a, in, like a rotten seed type, like he just looked evil, he just had that weasel looking evil face, um, you know, all these guys, they're currently, they're in hell, I mean, they didn't go to heaven, these were murderers, I bet they wished they couldn't, they would have not been evil. Yeah, I just think that's how cults and pyramid schemes work, is they work off deceiving the other members. So like Scientology, they work, you know, the Mormons, they all work off this, the same Masonic system of deception and theatrics and stuff. And like, basically, a, a, like lying, you know, making a false lore or whatever, or history. And then only the true higher ones know that it's all just a scam, you know. It's because the Mormons came from the Masons, and so did the Scientologists. So it's all; these are all pyramid schemes. Um, all based on deceiving one another.
it's not about loving your neighbor as yourself. Really, really, for the Satanists, it's about hating your neighbor. You know, and and, and using craft, crafty means against your neighbor to undermine them. It's like anti-Christian, not Christian. They worship the Antichrist, Nimrod, Osiris. So, of course, everything they do is anti Christian, the opposite of Christianity. Um, the only thing this really, this cult is all about is making money storing money out of other people and maintaining power. It's really not about knowledge or at all. It's not about pursuing knowledge and becoming your own man or free. It's really about becoming a slave to the hierarchy and the pyramid and getting rooked. Um, um God said not to swear at all. So these men swear at blood oaths and stuff. So in the Bible is automatically against that swearing and stuff. I just think it's all just a joke to be honest with you it's one big joke it's just a bunch of theatrics and deception theatricality and deception a bunch of theatrics a bunch of bull baloney what masonry is Like I think that the Mormons are a bunch of baloney too, and the and the Scientologists, just a bunch of bullshit. What a joke! It's a big old joke. Is what it is.